Hey guys, uh, Brandon here, working out of my uh, makeshift home studio that I've dubbed Grace in the Gray Studios. Um, I'm using Studio uh, One Pro 4, um, and today we'll go over how to uh, vocal align uh, without using um, plugins. Uh, there are several plugins, uh, uh, Revoice Pro and uh, Vocal Line, things like that, that you can purchase for three to six hundred dollars that will uh, align vocals. Um, after reading some reviews, because I was considering the purchase of one of them, um, many people had some complaints as far as uh, the unnatural sound that sometimes occurs uh, when using um, a program instead of doing it manually. So I uh, found a way to do it in Studio One. I haven't seen a ton of videos on um, just detailed vocal editing and things like that, um, but using the audio bin tool in Studio One um, is pretty intuitive and has a pretty natural sound. So we'll go quickly go over that today. So just let you know what we're running here. Uh, this is just a little snippet of a song, a vocal part that I did. Uh, it's not the best take ever, but um, just getting some ideas down. So you'll see four tracks here. Uh, these two are the same exact track um, when I recorded it. One is going through, it was split it was a split signal. One was going through a Universal Audio 6176 preamp. The other is going through a Vintec Audio 473 preamp um, using the same mic, obviously. Um, that's why there's a little variation as far as the volume um, of the uh, of each take. Um, and then this is a separate take, so this will be my doubling. Um, you can see I had to create a crossfade here just to make these parts uh, match up. So what I've done is I've highlighted these two tracks. Um, I have to excuse my Joe Bonamassa email pop-up. Um, I've highlighted these two tracks. I've done a control click and went down to group selected tracks. So that way any edit I make on this one will also happen on this one. I did the same thing on this. Um, so what we'll do first is if you highlight the, which is shift click, uh, highlight the tracks, you can go up here to the audio bin tool. Um, hit the little eyeball that says show hide bin marker and this will show any bin marker you put up. So quickest way to do this is use your number pad um, one through eight or nine or whatever and if you highlight the tools up here it'll show you one, two for the range tool, three for the splice. So if you don't see me going up there and clicking things I'm actually hitting the number. So uh, I'm gonna start off here and we'll just take a listen to what's going on. Um, I'll hit eight which is my listen tool. The middle of it all! All right, so knowing your song is key to knowing where the vocal should be placed. So I'm coming out of another part here. Love it all, the middle of it all. All right, so the middle, uh, that V, uh, the beginning, should probably be between 158 and 159 bin mar uh, bars here. So what I'm gonna do is anytime, if you hit seven, it'll come up on your keyboard as the uh, bin tool. Anytime you're working with uh, audio bend, you want to create a start and an end point so that way when you're stretching out one side it's not affecting the audio on the opposite side of it. So you kind of want to create a marker here at the beginning of this section as well as the end of this section. So that way anything that we do uh, to the audio on the inside of this won't affect the audio outside of it. So I'm going to put a little point here at the beginning of this word. So I'll switch back to my listen tool. The middle of it. So middle of it. Middle of middle it. starts there. So I'm going to hit seven again. Bring back my, my audio bin tool, and we'll put a marker there. All right. So it really starts going to more of the of instead of middle coming out of that, the word middle and into of. Um, that's where I want to put the marker at for this part of the song. So I'll put a marker there. Well, let's see. Let me scan in. Okay, it's there. My cursor, my uh, point there was in the way. Okay. All right, we'll take a listen again. Same thing, we'll put a bin marker right here, and then let's see where the start of all is. All right, put another bin marker right about here, and then 
I can put one here at the end so that we can control the tail of the word and stretch it out to where we need it to go. All right, so I want to first correct this top one. So it looks like we need to start the word, the phrase, uh, between 158 and 159. So I'm going to grab the bin marker, and I can pull this and start it wherever I want to put it. So I'm going to bring it right here at the middle of this, which was already pretty good. This part here, I want to start right at 159. So we're, we can stretch this however we want to do it. And put it right there at the start of 159. I want this part to start at 160 so we can stretch this audio. It's more natural sounding if you can get more of the parts to highlight as green when they're red. You run the risk of it sounding a little unnatural. Um, I've found with vocals, uh, the algorithms that uh, Studio One uses for their bend tool, uh, for their audio bend, is actually pretty natural sounding. Um, not the same results with all of the guitar stuff um, if you're trying to bend audio there. Um, all right, so as you can see, we just, we're just able to move these however we want to move them. And then I'm going to go here to the end and see where I want this to finish off at. All right, so I'm fine with it ending right here in the middle of 166 and 167. So I'll back that up just a little bit where the tail of it is stopping here around 166 and a half. All right, so now that we have that set up, we can do the same thing for the audio down here. Let's go back. I'm going to start and end the phrase of the bin marker. And now we can add the ones to make the adjustments. So I'll put one here. Right about there. These don't have to be perfect. It's just better to catch the word uh, when it actually, if, you, if you're coming off of another word into um, another word, like where it's in the middle of it all, you don't want it all run together. So you, I'm trying to capture where it goes into that next word at. Um, let's see, I'll go about right here. And now I can put one down here at the tail of it so that way we can manipulate that. All right. So I'm going to go back to the beginning here. And now I'm just going to match it to what I have up at the top. So you can slide that over, slide this over. And you can see these points are pretty well lined up. Um, I can bring that back a little bit. But I kind of like that being green there. Um, this. So the further we slide it over, the better it is, but then these points here aren't lining up. So I'm gonna keep it stretched out, uh, and then we'll see how it sounds. So I have this here. Let's see, let's slide this over there. And I can actually stretch this portion of the end out just to match the top a little bit better. This take will be a lot lower in volume um, than the take above it, so I'm not as concerned with the outcome of that. There's a little crossfade here that we can move around. So if I hit one, it goes back to my pointer tool, and I can move this. See the information for the next line starts coming in right there. So I'm going to move this right here, and now I can add a bend here, and oh, let's see. It's not let me do it there. Let's see what's going on. Okay. I can stretch this out. And you can see the detail with Studio One. You're actually able to get in pretty close and still see the waveform instead of it just looking like a mess. All right. Let me scan back out again. All right. So we'll manipulate this here. This can stretch to there. Actually, bring this down a little bit. All right, so all this is lined up. This is still colored green, so into the audio hasn't been bent too much. I'm going to go here to the end and manipulate the tail of the the word, this last word here of where it ends at. So looks 
pretty lined up with the top. All right. So I'm going to zoom back out, and then we can go back to the Listen tool and actually just listen to what our edits made, and if there, we can tell that it has been edited. The middle of it all. Let's listen to this one. The middle of it all. All right, so the top one I think sounds a little more natural, but you can see that there's more colored. The middle of it all. So let's take a look at this area here. I'm gonna take this back off. All right, so we'll let this flow a little more naturally there. And go. All right, let's try that. The middle of it all. All right, so what I'm going to do is uh, these vocals are turned up a little bit here and we can just see what this part sounds like. The middle of it all. Time will not wait. There's only hell you will pay. I have a lot open on the computer right now, so it's going moving a little slow um okay so that is pretty much just how you edit um if you're trying to do some vocal aligning um it's not a perfect workaround but uh from what i've played around with with some other plugins it it uh definitely sounds more natural just doing it manually uh, but you can go through all of your audio and do the same thing um, these takes are relatively close to each other so it's not as much moving around, but as long as your take is pretty close, then you can you can make some alignment uh, using Audio Bin and, and have it sound pretty natural. Thanks for watching.